Welcome back to your 30 days of fitness with Mind Pump. We're back here with your day 22. We've got your added movements, and don't forget we're on to your final week, so we're now moving your knee up another 2,000 steps. So your target goal per day should be somewhere between 14,000 to 16,000 steps per day every day this week. Then Justin's gonna take you through all the movements. The first movement we get into is the bench press. The second movement we get into is the pull-up. The third movement we get into is the overhead press. The fifth movement we get into is your reverse flies. Then we get into your barbell curl plus your skull crushers. Those will be super supersetted, so you're doing those back to back. We'll talk about that at the end of the video with Sal. And then our final movement is your renegade row with a push-up. Make sure you hang in all the way to the end. Sal will bring it all together for you guys. All right, we're back. We're back to the bench press. We got a new angle and we have a new grip for you. Justin is going to change up his hand grip. He's going to get a little bit more narrow of a grip. Totally fine to do this. A little more narrow. We'll hit the triceps a little bit more, the shoulders a little more. Some people would argue it's safer for the shoulder joints. Same form as last time. Feet flat on the floor, uh, arch in the back, shoulders pinned down and back. Nice, good, controlled tempo, just like you're seeing in this video right now. Now, it's okay for you guys to do the original grip that we taught you guys. We're just trying to give you guys some extra variations if you want to try something different to see if that feels better. Sometimes when people do a closer grip, they'll feel it takes a little bit of pressure off their shoulders and helps out. So pay attention to that. If you guys want to play with that a little bit, that's totally fine. Great point, Adam. I'm so glad you added that. Next exercise is the pull-up. All right, we're back here on the pull-up. I tell you what, Adam. I am extremely impressed with the strength of our rotund host being able to do so many pull-ups. It's as if he was cheating. It's incredible. So what it we're doing here- It blows my mind how easy he can actually do these pull-ups. So I when you do these pull-ups, form is crucial. Full extension, full contraction. Pull your chest to the bar with each and every repetition. Full squeeze, full stretch. Every single time you do a rep, it's important you maintain control with your pull-ups. Don't let your body swing. Notice how steady and controlled- Justin is, that's what you want to look like when you're doing your pull-ups. Think about the last three to six inches you're pulling the chest up to the bar. That'll help squeeze those shoulder blades back down, driving those elbows in those back pockets. Excellent point. Again, Adam, I love that you said that. Next exercise, overhead press. All right, we're back with the overhead press, a fundamental exercise for the upper body, works the shoulders, but also strengthens the upper back and the triceps. Just like last time. Can be very challenging for most people though, Sal. This is a tough exercise if you do not have good range of motion in your shoulders and you do not know how to activate your core and glutes in this movement. It's very important. Justin squeezes his glutes, rotated his pelvis forward, and keeps his abs tight as he pulls his head through the window. You know, Adam, a lot of people don't realize that scapular retraction is important in a movement like this. I've actually had experiences with people who have no idea that that is part of the movement. Right, and I like to tell my clients to stabilize at the top, get a little bit of that shoulder. There you go. Stabilize the top, hold that position before you return back down. Good point. We're going to move on now to the reverse fly. All right, Sal, this is our new movement. It's the dumbbell reverse fly. I'm excited to teach this movement today because I know that Justin hates bodybuilder exercise like this. This is a fantastic movement, and I know he's struggling to do this right now. You know, now. you would not know by watching his forum that he's never done this exercise before. So this movement, you want to maintain stability in your shoulders. You want to bring your arms out, not back. We're not turning this into a row. This is a fly, just like a chest fly, except the reverse, which, Adam, I think that's why they put it in the name. Reverse fly. Yeah, exactly. And you do not want to squeeze those shoulder blades together. He's broken at the hips, so he, he slid his hips back. He's got a nice level back while he does this, and he's flying out, not back. Good point again, Adam. Listen, the next exercise, your favorite, this is the superset, barbell curl and skull crushers. Adam, we're doing barbell curls here in this video, and you know what they say about curls? You do them. And they're for the girls. For the girls. That's right. With this exercise, full extension, Full contraction at the top. Notice how Justin is not wavering his body. It's not swinging forward to back. He's very stable while he's doing this. He's very concentrated. You can tell by the look on his face. Yeah, Adam. no, So I like watching Justin do this movement because he is definitely not an isolation guy. It's a very foreign movement, so a lot of you beginners out here will look just like him. When you're doing this, if you're lucky. Uh, and after this, you move straight to the next exercise, which is Skull Crushers. This is a superset, so treat it like one set. Now he's got the barbell. Straight up above his head. His elbows are fixed. He's bending at the elbows, bringing the bar down to his head or behind his the head. The key to this movement, Sal, is to make sure you keep those elbows in a fixed position. The most common mistake I see is the rocking back and forth of the elbows. You know, the French used to be very, uh, they used to like this exercise quite a bit. It was known as the French press. 
circa 1970, uh, 1973, in fact. It's a little fun fact for a lot of wow, listeners. Wow, I remember that actually, reading that somewhere. Absolutely. So the next exercise coming up is the Renegade Row with Push-Up. All right, Sal, we are moving on to the Renegade Row with a Push-Up. I hate this movement. This is a tough, tough exercise. Uh, Justin likes it because he himself... Is it is considered a renegade? Yes, yes. I do notice now. Pay attention when he does this. It is an anti-rotational movement. He is not trying to rotate the spine. He keeps himself his core nice and tight as he rows the dumbbell up. Elbows right by his side as he rows. Now a lot of a lot of uh, something people forget, Adam, when they do this is they forget to brace their core. This is a massive mistake. It can result in lower back pain. Make sure you brace your core and do this exercise. And keep good control, good tempo. In Ex fact, excellent point. So. In fact, copy what you're seeing in this video right here. All right, guys, your last week on our program. Today was a strength day. Let's run down the exercises real quick. Your traditional bench press, your pull up, your overhead press. Here is your new exercise, the reverse fly. Now, one of the most neglected parts uh, on a body uh, in terms of aesthetics is the rear deltoid. Believe it or not, having well-developed rear deltoids will give you much rounder looking shoulders than even over-developing the front of your shoulder. In fact, Adam, when he used to compete, he said that's how he would separate himself from a lot of his competitors, was having well-developed rear deltoids. That's why we threw that in. We threw it in the end because it's not a super functional movement, but by this point, you're building some good basic strength, so now we're adding that exercise. You also have your superset, your renegade rows, with your push-ups. Fantastic superset. Look, by this point, you should be feeling stronger. You should be having better pumps. Your intensity is higher. Your workouts are longer. This is excellent. Tomorrow is a mobility day. We're sticking to the same sets and reps as before. I don't have it written, written up here, but three sets, every exercise, eight to 12 reps. That's the hypertrophy range. After you're done with this week, if you want to go back through and change up the rep ranges, you can totally do that. Don't forget to share this with your friends. Get everybody involved so we can all work out together. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. And also, subscribe to this channel. We post new videos like this one all the time.